welcome back guys Johnny Keck over at AMP Futures and thank you for tuning in. In today's video we're going to go ahead and show you how to create a continuous contract within Sierra Charts. Now, if you're not familiar with continuous contracts, uh, for example, let me pull up the platform real quick. Uh, let me just show you something for, let me just change this back to none, apply and OK. So typically what happens is right now if you're trading for example the mini S&P contract, uh, which is the current front contract month is September, which rolled over about two weeks ago from June to September. So what happens is if you're not using a continuous futures contract, as you look back in time and looking at more historical data, uh, so let me scroll back here and show you, you will actually only be looking at specifically just the September mini S&P contract. So if you go back, let's say, three months of historical data, at that point in time, you're looking at, you're, you're, you're going to want to look at June contract because that was the front contract month. But if this, in this case, if you're looking at a non-continuous contract, you're basically still looking at the September contract. So even though September was a distant contract month beyond the front June contract month, uh, you're still looking at September. So therefore, what happens is when you look at this chart here, as you can see, there's a lot of gaps in data. And uh, that's not going to be very helpful if you're trying to look at what the mini S&P was really doing in terms of front contract month. Uh, so continuous contract is a very common question that we come across at the help desk is how do you create that so I can see full data going back. So what it will do, it will, it will merge the prior expirations for all this, uh, the contract months for the specific symbol that you're looking at as one symbol. So when you look back at historical data, you'll see a full chart. All right, so basically, it's very simple to apply a continuous contract within Sierra Charts. All you would need to do is right click on your chart, go to chart settings, Click on the secondary tab that shows advanced settings here, and then you're going to see the option continuous contract right in the middle of the page. By default, it's going to be set to none, and if you hit the drop-down menu, you'll see the different options. So it's going to be up to you which options you decide to use. Uh, I'll go ahead and read some of the definitions of some of these different options. For example, date, rule, rollover. Uh, this is going to be an option that will create a continuous futures contract chart. The transition date from one futures contract to the next is determined by a specific rollover rule defined for the symbol. Uh, from my understanding, this works very well for stock index futures. Uh, this method is a little faster than volume-based rollover because there is slightly less time involved because there does not have to be an analyst of the volume across futures contracts loaded in the chart to, to determine the rollover dates. All right, so that's what the date rollover rollover will do. In terms of volume-based rollover, uh, this option is going to create a continuous future contract and the transition date from one futures contract to the next is determined by when the daily volume as determined from the historical daily chart, data for the symbol becomes greater from one contract to the next at a particular day. Uh, at that particular day, the rollover occurs. This method is preferred for commodity futures, which do not have a very definite calendar-based rollover rule, and the rollover date can vary from one rollover to the next. And that's pretty much what volume-based rollover will do. And the next option, which be date rule rollover back adjusted, uh, this, is, this option is pretty much the same as a continuous futures contract date rollover rollover. In addition, prior futures contracts months loaded into the chart are back adjusted. And then you have volume based rollover back adjusted. Uh, this option is pretty much the same as a continuous futures contract volume based rollover. In addition, prior futures contract months are loaded into the chart that are back adjusted. The method by which back adjustment is performed is explained in the description of the prior option. All right, so that's pretty much the four options. I'll have to verify what forward curve is. That's something that I've seen. I'll pop up not too long ago, so I'll, I'll try to follow up and see exactly what that does. But for the most part, those are your options. Just be sure to pick whichever option you'd like to use and create the continuous contract for. Uh, once you've identified that, all you would need to do is simply select it, hit apply, and then when you do that, it's going to simply load the continuous contract. And now let me go ahead and scroll back and show you that now you're not going to see any gaps in data because now you're looking at a continuous contract. All right, so it's very easy, very easy to implement within Sierra Charts again. It's going to be a right click on the chart, chart settings, click on the advanced settings tab. Right in the middle of the page, you'll see continuous uh, contract. You want to hit the drop down menu and just be sure to select the specific option you want to apply. If you have any questions about this, please contact our 24-hour support team at 312-893-6400 extension 1. Gets you directed to our, our help desk 24 hours a day. Otherwise, definitely visit our YouTube channel at www.youtube.com forward slash AMP Futures. Again, that's www.youtube.com forward slash AMP Futures. Thank you for listening in and happy trading.